Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my blog. Alright. Okay, so at the end of the last one, I said that this one was going to be was entitled fun and that I wasn't totally sure what I was going to talk about. <laughs> be perfectly honest, I'm still not completely sure what I'm going to talk about and how this one is going to end up going. Um, I think it's probably going to end up being one of those sort of very loose topic titles where I kind of just riff around something maybe vaguely connected to it. Um, but with this one I kind of a little bit am not totally sure where to start. Um, Certainly I think it's important to have fun and not necessarily just, you know, in, in your spare time and, and how you relax and stuff like that. I think, you know, it's important to have fun no matter what you're doing, um, you know, obviously within, you know, reason and within the context of the situation that you're in and, you know, provided it's not causing anybody else, you know, pain or distress because that's, you know, just, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's know. Um, but I think, you know, it's about enjoying life and, and having that sort of sense of, you know, yeah, bad things can happen and yeah, things can, you know, always go wrong, but they can always go right. And just because you're in a particularly bad situation at that moment in time, it doesn't mean you're always going to be in that bad situation. And sometimes finding those things within that situation that maybe aren't necessarily 100% positive, but they're not quite so dark and, and miserable and, and dreary is, you know, I think important. Um, and just sort of having fun and, and relaxing and finding little bits of joy can, you know, make the difference. Um, for a lot of people, for a lot of reasons and a lot of ways. And, you know, I, I certainly am somebody who tries to have fun when I can, um, but my definition of fun might not necessarily be everybody else's definition of fun. My definition of fun involves a lot of solitary activities like writing and playing video games in, you know, fussing over my gerbils <laughs> because my pets are so cute. Um, I mean, I even find doing these vlogs fun for the most part. Um, sometimes when I'm sort of struggling to think of a topic or an idea or trying to relate a topic or idea or trying to find something to say for a topic or idea, it's not necessarily as fun as it could be. But yeah, you know, um, I, I try to make sure there's at least something in every single day um, that gives me some pleasure and enjoyment and whether it's like fun, fun, like amazing kind of, you know, this is definitely what everybody would define as being fun and I'm having a laugh or whether it's just little things which are kind of like, yeah, that was fun for me. Um, even if it's like, you know, something that I've watched that's made me, you know, kind of go, you know, what, today isn't such a bad day. Um, it's a good way of keeping you know, my, my personal morale Stable? <laughs> Not necessarily high, but stable. Um, I mean, I do definitely think that because I am highly introverted, a lot of people probably don't think that, you know, I know how to necessarily kick back and enjoy myself because I'm not doing all the things that everybody else would do. I don't, I don't really go on holiday. I'm not a big fan of travelling. Um, I went through a bout of vertigo ow, nine years ago now, just, just over nine years ago, um, which means that I'm still in the phase where I can't actually learn to drive. And the reason for that is I continue to suffer from dizzy spells. In fact, I'm not altogether unconvinced I don't still suffer from vertigo because I feel dizzy at the drop of a hat. <laughs> I mean, you know, there are so many times where I'll be like doing something, I'm suddenly feeling like really, really dizzy. Um, but because of that, I don't enjoy traveling. Um, and if I 
you know, in most holidays you're expected to travel somewhere and I just find it so draining and it makes me feel really unwell and, you know, yeah, okay, I might enjoy the week once I'm there, but then I've got to travel home again and I usually try, if I'm, if I'm going to be travelling, taking an extra day of work because I need the extra day of work to recover from travelling home because that's how unwell it can actually make me, depending on, you know how far I've travelled and, and various things like that. Um, I certainly don't enjoy travelling. Um, and usually once I'm sort of at the, the whatever the place is that I'm, I'm having the holiday, um, I've, I've never holidayed on my own. I know it's something that some people do because they really enjoy it, but I usually pretty much exclusively have always been on family holidays. <laughs> Um, so I enjoy, you know, having fun and, and spending time with my family, but again, I'm quite introverted, so I find that quite draining, so yes, I do definitely enjoy having holidays, but it's not necessarily my, you know, idea of a, a good week off, um, it's definitely a great week off, it's definitely, a, you know, not worrying about how productive you'll be, not worrying about this, that and the other, um, but I, I end it just as tired and drained as I do, regardless. <laughs> I guess it doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Um, as I said, I do definitely enjoy doing the whole family holiday thing when I, when I can. And, you know, I, I do enjoy seeing new different places, but I don't cope particularly well with the heat. So travelling abroad, and again, it's that travelling as well. Oh, Travelling by plane is one of the worst things. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're dizzy a lot it is just yeah um if you're you're wondering just you know how bad my dizziness can be um the bus journey from where I live to where my lovely mummies are living is an hour and a half and there have been a number of times where I've had to get off that bus early and walk the rest of the distance because I just could not stay on that bus any longer because I was just feeling so unwell. And that's like an hour and a half. And, and you know, OK, that's a bus journey and that tends to be a bit more twisted turdy, but it's 45 minutes by car. And even then, quite often, I'm like, just get me out of this vehicle. I, I don't travel particularly well anymore. I don't throw up, fortunately. I too then to get what I refer to as a travel headache, um, which yeah, they're, they're, they're awful, they're awful. So yeah, I don't find travelling particularly fun, so I don't tend to go on holidays, I don't tend to have fun that kind of way, um, but at the same time, like I said, I quite enjoy sitting around playing video games and, and watching stuff, um, at the same time. <laughs> I quite often I have no idea what video game music sounds like because I would much rather have something else going on in the background and I'd be playing the video game whilst I'm doing something else. <laughs> I like kind of utilising my time uh, productively and, and, and even when I'm being like unproductive and procrastinating I'm still sort of like yeah I'm getting all my videos and stuff that I need to watch watched and I'm still playing video games and <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and then as I said, I find writing fun and enjoyable, I find editing fun and enjoyable. Um, I'm having fun at the moment doing the decorating stuff, even though it's, it's hard work and can be a little bit painful because of my medical condition and stuff like that. So, yeah, just because I'm not necessarily doing all the things that other people sort of find fun and, you know, my way of kicking back and relaxing is, is not going on holiday. I'm definitely not going out clubbing either because I don't drink. <laughs> um, but, yeah, just because it's not necessarily, you know, what a lot of people might find fun. I know there are definitely people out there who would actually go, yeah, actually, those things that you find fun, that's exactly how I like to kick back and relax. So... Yeah, okay, maybe this topic has been somewhat on track, maybe it hasn't, I don't know, uh, but I don't know what more I can really say about it. Yes, I realise that a lot of these ones at the moment have been fairly short. My ear is no longer blocked, so that's no longer an issue. Um, however, with all the decorating and, and stuff that I used to get on, I'm not necessarily thinking about this as much as I should, so I'm not necessarily coming into this as prepared as I should. 
So if my vlogs over the next uh, few weeks are a little bit shorter, forgive me, it's just too many things to focus on. <laughs> All right, okay. With that said, um, the next topic is going to be a writerly topic, um, and it is entitled at the moment, Considering Practicalities, and I know exactly what I mean by that. Right. So, I hope you guys sort of found this one interesting, even if it's sort of been a bit babbly and pointless. Um, I hope you guys are looking forward to the next one, and I will see you next time. See ya! <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!